Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest 8 second gaming and normally I'm the voiceover on the Apex channel but today the higher ups have let me out of the dungeon so I'm hanging out with all you lovely people over on the Valorant channel. And today we gotta talk about the absolutely disappointing patch notes that Riot released because it's like a push up bra. You are really excited, you open it up and there's almost nothing there. But check out the Game Leap website if you guys are looking to take your skill to the next level. Whether it's aim, decision making, positioning, no matter what, we have solutions for you. You can start to absolutely dominate your games and climb no matter what so click the link in the description, pick yourself up a member and start to climb today. Jumping back to these patch notes though, they are very short. We got no weapon changes that we were really hoping for and also there's only one legend change. They didn't really touch any of the other legends that are super over tuned right now and running amok in a lot of different ranks. You're a little confused but he got the spirit. Now yes, the gecko changes are good because they are needed, I was just hoping for a little bit more. But to start off, his mosh pit is getting a damage reduction to object, going from two and a half times to one times. Now this was done because quote the damage to objects has been performing inconsistently with relative abilities such as chaos fragment and breaches aftershock now this damage reduction is not only going to make him a little bit less useful it's also going to make another agent a lot better because this can no longer kill killjoy's ultimate this was a really good anti-kj ability and now it is no longer as good or as useful Overall, I am very happy with this change, but I do think it's going to make Killjoy a lot more useful in the meta because she no longer has that solid anti-pick. Now, Wingman also did receive some changes as well. If he is the last alive, he will always die now. Now, this does mean that you are not going to be seeing any more clutch Wingman plays when Gecko is the last alive, and honestly, the community was split down the middle on this decision. Some people were talking about how many matches they lost because Wingman was the last one alive and they were able to get the clutch off. And some people saying that they're a little bit sad because they're not going to be able to see Wingman pull stuff off. But what do you guys think about this Wingman change? Let me know in the comments down below. And even though the patch notes were like me in bed and just super short, we are at least getting some brand new skins to distract us from the game. They're bringing in five brand new altitude skins. One for the Bucky, Sheriff, Vandal, Odin, and also a Knight. Now me personally, I only really like the Sheriff and the Knife out of this. The Knife does have a really cool purple tinge to it and I just kind of find it shiny and nice. But the Odin and the Vandal are straight up fugly in my opinion and I definitely would not spend any money on these skins. Now another thing that people should know about the skin bundle is there are no levels or chroma upgrades so it essentially is just a basic skin kit. Now somebody on Twitter did point out that the weapons are agent themed. The Bucky is Raze, the Sheriff is Viper, the Knife is Astra, the Vandal is Sova, and they say that the Odin is KO but to me personally it looks more like neon with the electricity and the bright colors. Just my opinion though. But that's not all for news in skins because the Knife market is coming back that is right get your wallets ready this is definitely something that everyone in the community loves because it gives you that dopamine rush when you see that perfect skin in your night market and you just absolutely have to cop it now to be honest i've never really been much of a skin guy in my video games across all the video games i've played i've never really been a huge cosmetic guy so i'm not really hoping for anything special in my night market but if you guys are really excited for something let me know i'd love to hear about it and with this patch there was also a bunch of stuff added into the text files of the game First off, there was this massive wall of text that everyone obviously can read and understand, talking about the new daily reward system. Now this is a bunch of weird programmer jargon that a lot of people actually don't understand. So what this is essentially is Riot is starting to incentivize people playing the other game modes instead of unrated or competitive, and they are incentivizing it by giving you more experience. People like experience, people like to level up. So Riot is essentially saying, hey, play these other game modes, get more experience, level up faster, win-win. Now the experience that they are giving out doesn't seem like it is a whole lot. There's only 100 experience per milestone and also 100 experience per each completed diamonds. There are up to 4 diamonds that can be earned daily. So I don't know how many milestones you are going to be able to hit, but if you're hitting all diamonds, that's only 400 experience a day. Unless you're able to absolutely crank out those milestones and get a bunch of experience that way, I don't really think that this is going to be worth it for people to stop playing comp or unrated just to try to level up this way. We're going to have to wait and see how it plays out in game obviously, but right now I'm not impressed. And the second bit of text that was added was this one right here where it talks about Am Breach, Am Brim, Am Cypher. And at first I thought this was somebody at Riot that just had terrible grammar. I think they meant to say I'm Cypher and I'm Raze, but instead they put Am. That was my first impression, but I think this guy on Twitter nailed it on the head because I think that the Am stands for Aston Martin and every single legend is just going to be driving around in a car at the start of a round. Now obviously AM can stand for a lot of things, but me personally I think it means agent modification and these are the different agents that are going to be getting some changes in future patches. What those changes are are still up in the air, maybe some balance changes, maybe some tweaks to their kit, but what do you guys think AM stands for because I'm still very confused about what this could potentially be. And remember to check out the Game Leap website if you guys really want to dominate and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with the greatest Valorant tips, tricks and news. Thank you guys all for watching once again I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you guys in the next one.